day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm, ran across this really neat little utility the other day, and I thought I'd share. It's called Split Cap, and it's a command line utility. So as you can tell, I'm at my command line. Um, and what Split Cap does, which is kind of neat, is it'll go through your trace files, your Wireshark trace files, and basically create uh, several files from the one file based on the criteria you provide. Um, and the best way to explain this is just to show you. So here we go. Here's split cap, and if I literally just press enter, let me just select my window here, you can see there's all your options, which I'm not going to go through them all because I've just been playing with this for a short time as well. I'm just going to show you the basic stuff I've used it for. And the first one is um, just the default. So I want to show you something. Here's the trace file I want to use, bits and bytes.pcap. It's a 2.7 meg file. And I want you to notice there's no folder um, called bits and bytes. The reason why I'm telling you to note that is when I type in this command split cap exe dash r bits and bytes this is dash r's read this file so this is the file I'm using and I'm just gonna press enter and it just goes boom done and now we've got a new folder called bits and bytes and if you look inside of it it's created a file for every IP um, and port number which is kinda neat so I've got an IP, this is the syntax here, so you've got TCP 1044 10105 is the IP address, and then underscore the port number, talking to 1044 10107, and there's the port number for him. So I've got this for all the TCP and UDP ports. It's a great way to just pull out a conversation. This is, uh, this is very, very cool. I, I'm using this quite a bit. And this is just the default. I haven't done anything fancy, I've just used the defaults. The next thing I want to show you is the uh, a different way of displaying the trace file or creating the trace file sorry so I've just got these commands pre-written so I don't do a bunch of typos I'm just gonna paste them and what this one is gonna do is read the same file bits and bytes pcap and it's going to do a it's called a host pair and you'll see what that means in a minute and I'm dash o is the directory I want it to go to the host pair directory and that's right here so right now there's nothing there and again, I'm going to come back here, I'm going to press enter, and off they go, done. Come back here, and there you go. So now, in this case, you can see host pair, and it just does the two IPs. Who is talking to whom? So all of the ports and protocols are within this. So this, these two IPs could have been talking Telnet, uh, port 80, UDP, TCP. It's irrelevant. It's all in that one trace file for that pair, which I thought was pretty helpful too. I've, I've used this one quite a bit. Uh, the next one, uh, of course, people want to know if you can, uh, I wanted to know, never mind people. <laughs> I wanted to find out how do you do a simple filter and that you can do simple filter, uh, again split cap, dash r, there's my input and then it's dash ip and there's your ip address and as soon as you type that in you will have a uh, trace file. Just do that and unfortunately it's in here somewhere <laughs> so what I've had to do is either make sure I always have a folder created or sort by date modified right and that's the only thing about the software um, which is I think I always joke the carbon interfaces fault you get a little carried away and these things get created and they all go in the same folder so that's why um, if you take a look here I've got several different folders depending on the switches uh, that I use for that particular test. All right, so that's a little piece of advice I can give you. And here's the last one I want to show you. Again, I'm trying to keep this really short because I don't want to I don't want to yap too long. I'm going to take this one, and what Split Cap can do for you is something that we do a lot in Wireshark, and that is follow the stream. So in this case, Split Cap dash R. The trace file now is called Telnet. It's just the Telnet session, me Telnetting into my switch, and then I got a dash S session and then it's port 23 for Telnet and then this dash YL7 is that layer 7 stuff and it's going to take the the payload the data and put it all in a file so I'm just gonna press enter on that and now if I take a look I've got Telnet because remember the file name was Telnet so it created this automatically and now the big thing I was kinda wondering about was what do I do with this bin file there's a bin file I don't know what that is and it's actually quite simple. I'm going to just take a good old Microsoft notepad. I'm going to take this and just drag it into there and open it up. It's just a text file. And now I can see the payload. See? So this is great for Telnet, SQL, um, HTTP, 
any type of clear text application where you want to save the data for whatever reason this is a fantastic way to do it if you, I found that when I use this command with a web session HTTP session um, it gets a little more confusing because these bin files could represent HTML CSS um, or non text like um, a GIF a PNG uh, that type of thing so you've got to be a little bit more knowledgeable about what you're capturing when it comes to those types of apps but other than that it's it's pretty cool so uh, good old split cap I'll put the URL where you can find it uh, right on the website and enjoy have a good day bye for now I guess the really important thing to figure out now is where do you find this thing well split cap can be found at the net R E S E C, and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, so I thought I'd spell it out. And that's www.netresec.com, and look for the split cap link. The URL is on the page as well.